I'm going to be reading out a review of Season 11 of Doctor Who in general. This is of the DWRG, obviously, and it's written by Joe Ford on the 22nd of the 7th, 02. Old and stale? John Pertwee has been in the role for four years now. He has foiled more invasions on Earth than I have had snogs. Unit who were once great figureheads of army power now hang around with hippie haircuts having arguments about fungus, or roast beef, whatever you call it. Dizzy Joe Grant, the girl everyone loves, left to be with her new sweetheart. Things were not looking promising for that crucial last year for the third Doctor, so let's see how he got on. The Time Warrior, very, very funny, one of Robert Holmes' best scripts. The dialogue is just beautiful and the characterization is perfect from our master craftsman. Elizabeth Sladen bolts onto the screen like a gale force wind. She's sexy, intelligent, bossy, arrogant, funny, and resourceful. Sarah Jane has arrived and she wants to let everyone know. The story itself is a highly enjoyable action tale with the honors giving to going to links for the most compelling character. It is another Holmes classic bad guy. He has worked a complex background for these monsters and his hard work pays off in spades. Kevin Lindsay gives a great performance. Iron Gron and Blood Axe make an amusing duo, especially when taking on Sarah. But even small worlds like Hal and Eleanor are well played. Good fun and proof that the show could still surprise in the third we years. I'll just read out the invasion of the dinosaurs and then the overall. Invasion of the Dinosaurs is the biggest surprise of the year. The direction is flawless, and I mean flawless. Aside from the action shots, effects out of the director's hands, every shot is perfect, from the moody and atmospheric opening episode, to the exciting Doctor Chase, to the claustrophobic work in the spaceship. The performances are great too, and it's littered with wonderful character moments. Benton asking to be knocked out, Sarah going out to play, the Doc trying desperately to make his machine in peace. All the stuff with Yates is good development, and the Brig seems to have found his brain again. Amazing. The issues are irrelevant and interesting, considering it is six episodes long, and belief over some effects, I don't know why you're a fan in the first... Well, sorry, and admittedly padded, it's surprising how it never seems boring. I would mention the dinos, but even they are more, accept more than acceptable in some shots. Hell, if you can't suspend your belief over some effects, I don't know why you're a fan in the first place.